Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from our channel Who Died Today America. In this video we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away in the last few days. Before we proceed we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 24. Bob Knight, renowned for his coaching prowess and fiery temperament, passed away on November 1st at 83 in Bloomington, Indiana. A legend in college basketball, Knight coached at Indiana University for three decades, leading his teams to three NCAA championships and an unmatched .725 winning percentage. His 1976 Hoosiers team remains the last in NCAA Division I to have an undefeated season. Knight's career, however, was also marred by his controversial temper, resulting in his dismissal from Indiana in 2000. A three-time AP Coach of the Year and inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, Knight's legacy in college sports is both celebrated and debated. Number 23. Peter White, an esteemed actor primarily recognized for his long-term role on the soap opera All My Children, passed away on November 1st at the age of 86 due to melanoma. White's early career highlights include his off-Broadway performance in The Boys in the Band, where he garnered critical acclaim. He joined the cast of All My Children as Lincoln Link Tyler, a character he portrayed for over three decades. White's diverse career also saw him in recurring roles on popular TV series like Falcon Crest, Dynasty, Knott's Landing, Dallas, and Sisters. His versatility extended to appearances in shows such as The Jeffersons, Matlock, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and NYPD Blue, as well as in movies like Mr. Wrong, Armageddon, and 13 Days. White's enduring legacy in television and film reflects his significant impact on the industry. Number 22. Shannon Wilcox, a versatile actress known for her recurring role on Dallas and appearances in movies like Songwriter and Frankie and Johnny, passed away on September 2nd at the age of 80 in Los Angeles. Her career was marked by frequent collaborations with director Gary Marshall, featuring in eight of his films, including notable titles like Runaway Bride, The Princess Diaries, and Raising Helen. In Songwriter, she portrayed Willie Nelson's ex-wife, Wilcox's range extended to various TV roles, including a significant part in Dallas and guest appearances on popular shows like Starsky and Hutch, Magnum P.I., Matlock, E.R., and NCIS. Number 21. Evan Ellingson, a talented actor recognized for his roles in My Sister's Keeper and CSI Miami, passed away at his home in Fontana, California, at the young age of 35 on November 5th. Ellingson began his acting career in his early teens, with an early notable role in the Fox sitcom Titus. He gained prominence with a starring role in Complete Savages and a regular role in season six of 24. His portrayal of Jesse in My Sister's Keeper and Kyle Harmon in CSI Miami were among his most memorable performances. Ellingson's career also included appearances in movies like Letters from Iwo Jima and Walk the Talk, as well as TV shows such as Mad TV, Bones, and State of Mind. Number 20. Pat E. Johnson, a renowned martial artist and the esteemed choreographer of the Karate Kid movie series, passed away on November 5th at 84 due to natural causes in Los Angeles. A ninth-degree black belt, Johnson's martial arts journey began in the U.S. Army, leading him to study Tang Soo Domu Duk Kwan in South Korea. He later co-founded a school with Chuck Norris, achieving significant success in martial arts competitions and earning the National Tang Soo Do Champion title in 1971. Johnson's Hollywood career included being the stunt coordinator for iconic films like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mortal Kombat. His legacy is honored with inductions into the Black Belt Hall of Fame and the North American Sport Karate Association Hall of Fame. Number 19. Frank Borman, the esteemed commander of Apollo 8, the first mission to fly around the moon, passed away on November 7th at a hospital in Billings, Montana, following a stroke. He was 95 years old. A West Point graduate and a second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force, Borman's dreams of flight began in childhood and led him to be selected as a NASA astronaut in 1962. He made history on the Gemini 7 mission and later on Apollo 8, 
becoming one of the first humans to orbit the moon. Post-NASA, Borman made significant contributions as CEO of Eastern Airlines and was a respected figure in aerospace. Honored with numerous accolades, including the Congressional Space Medal of Honor and induction into the International Space Hall of Fame. Number 18. Johnny Ruffo, the beloved Australian singer and actor, known for his role in Home and Away, passed away at 35 after a courageous battle with brain cancer. His journey to fame began on the third season of The X Factor in Australia, leading him to the finals in 2011. He further showcased his diverse talents by winning the 12th season of Dancing with the Stars in 2012. Rufo then charmed audiences as Chris Harrington on the popular soap opera Home and Away from 2013 to 2016. Remembered for his resilience and spirit, Ruffo's fight against cancer, diagnosed in 2017 and again in 2020, inspired many. He is survived by his longtime partner, Tani Sims, leaving behind a legacy of strength, talent, and enduring charm. Number 17. Janet Landgard, known for her role as Karen Holmby on The Donna Reed Show and her performance in The Swimmer, passed away on November 6th at the age of 75 from brain cancer. Starting her acting career while in high school, Landgard made her television debut in The Donna Reed Show, appearing in 11 episodes. She also made an appearance in My Three Sons. Her film career included notable roles in The Swimmer with Burt Lancaster, as well as in Land Raiders, Moonchild, and the TV movie The Deadly Dream. Number 16. Kevin Turen, a renowned Hollywood producer celebrated for his work on critically acclaimed projects such as HBO's Euphoria and The Idol, passed away suddenly at the age of 44 on November 12th. His unexpected death occurred while driving. Turin's contributions to the entertainment industry included significant roles in the production of notable works like All Is Lost, Arbitrage, and The Dead Girl. Remembered for his remarkable talent and impactful work, Turin's passing was mourned by many, including his father, Edward Turin, who expressed that the world would be less without him. Turin is survived by his wife, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the film and television industry. Number 15. Marianne Trump Barry, a retired federal judge and the older sister of former President Donald Trump, passed away at the age of 86 at her home in New York City. Barry passed away on November 13th, served as a senior judge on the Third U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals until her retirement in 2019. She was the wife of the late John J. Barry ESQ, mother of Dr. David W. Desmond, grandmother and great-grandmother. Barry also leaves behind her stepdaughter, Barbara Barry Coates, her siblings Elizabeth Trump Grau and Donald J. Trump, and their families. Known for her legal acumen and her service to the judiciary, Judge Barry's passing marks the end of an era in a family that has played a significant role in American public life. Number 14. Peter Seidler, a prominent businessman, philanthropist, and owner of the Major League Baseball team, the San Diego Padres, passed away at 63 on November 14th after battling an illness for months. Seidler's demise was deeply felt in the San Diego community and the wider baseball world. Padres CEO Eric Griepner lauded him as a kind, generous, and compassionate individual, devoted to his family and those less fortunate. His impact on San Diego and baseball was profound, with his spirit becoming an integral part of the Padres fabric. Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred also expressed deep sadness, remembering Seidler's lifelong passion for baseball and his commitment to making the Padres a source of pride for San Diego, particularly his efforts in aiding the homeless community. Seidler's love for the game and his role in bringing people together through sports and community initiatives will be long remembered. Number 13. Dex Carvey, an aspiring comedian and the son of renowned comedian Dana Carvey, tragically passed away at the age of 32 on November 15th due to an accidental drug overdose in Los Angeles. Dex, featured in his father's Netflix special, Dana Carvey, Straight White Male, 60, was remembered by his parents as a person of extraordinary talent and passion. He excelled in a variety of creative fields, including music, art, filmmaking, and comedy, pursuing each with great enthusiasm. 
His parents, in their tribute, emphasized his beautiful spirit and the joy he brought to life, stating that he made everything fun and cherished his family, friends, and girlfriend Kaylee. They expressed their profound loss and extended their support to others struggling with addiction or those who love someone with an addiction, sharing their hearts and prayers with them. Number 12. Suzanne Shepard, a versatile actress, teacher, and stage director, passed away at the age of 89 in New York City on November 17th. Shepard was renowned for her roles in The Sopranos, Mystic Pizza, Uncle Buck, and Requiem for a Dream, most notably portraying Karen's mother in Goodfellas. Her career spanned numerous films and TV shows, including a memorable role as Carmela's mother in The Sopranos. Aside from acting, Shepard was dedicated to teaching, directing stage works, and nurturing the next generation of actors for over four decades at various conservatories and her own studio in New York City. Number 11. Rosalind Carter, the former First Lady of the United States and a devoted advocate for mental health, caregiving, and women's rights, passed away at 96 on November 19th in Plains, Georgia, following a period of declining health. Serving as First Lady from 1977 to 1981 during the presidency of her husband, Jimmy Carter, she was known for her compassionate activism and contributions to public service. Mrs. Carter's passing marks the end of an era, as she was part of the longest-lived presidential couple in American history. She died peacefully at her home, surrounded by her family, leaving behind a legacy of dedicated service and advocacy in various social issues. Number 10. Joss Ackland, a distinguished actor known for his versatile performances in film and television, passed away at the age of 95 from natural causes at his home in Devon, England, on November 19th. Ackland's career spanned many decades, marked by memorable supporting roles and a talent for villainy and accents. His work ranged from Shakespearean theater to modern cinema, including notable appearances in White Mischief, Lethal Weapon 2, the Mighty Ducks, and Bill and Ted. Recognized for his mellifluous voice and ability to channel personal tragedy into his performances, Ackland's contributions to the arts have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. He died peacefully, leaving behind a legacy as a prolific character actor and a beloved figure in both screen and stage acting. Number 9. Annabelle Giles, a multifaceted talent known for her work as an actress, model, novelist, and television presenter, passed away at the age of 64 after a short battle with glioblastoma. She passed away on November 20th at Martlett's Hospice in Hove. Giles first gained prominence in the 1980s as a performer on the children's show Razzmatazz and later forged a diverse career across various entertainment sectors. Her contributions to television and her presence in the comedy community were widely appreciated, leaving a lasting impact on those who worked with her and the audiences she entertained. Her children, in announcing her passing, remembered her as an incredible mother, reflecting the depth of her influence both professionally and personally. Number 8. Russell Norman, a renowned chef, restaurateur, author, and TV personality, passed away of cardiac arrest at the age of 57 on November 24th. He was the founder of Bruto, a Florentine-inspired restaurant in London, and the co-founder of Polpo and Spuntino, two popular Italian eateries that introduced the concept of small plates and no reservation dining to the UK. He also wrote four award-winning cookbooks, including Polpo, a Venetian cookbook, which was named Waterstone's Book of the Year in 2012. He appeared on several TV shows, such as Saturday Kitchen and The Restaurant Man, where he shared his passion and expertise for food and hospitality. He was a trailblazer and a creative force in the British culinary scene, influencing many chefs and diners with his simple but delicious dishes and his warm and informal service style. Number 7. Kevin Jordy Walker, the influential guitarist of the post-punk band Killing Joke, passed away of a stroke at the age of 64 on November 26. He passed away in Prague, where he had been living for the last few years. He was the co-founder and the only constant member of Killing Joke, along with singer Jazz Coleman, since 1978. He was known for his distinctive and powerful guitar sound, 
which blended elements of punk, metal, industrial, and shoegaze. He inspired and influenced many musicians such as Jimmy Page, Kevin Shields, Dave Grohl, and Trent Reznor. He also played in other bands, such as Murder, Inc., The Damage Manual, and Zilch. He wrote and recorded 16 studio albums with Killing Joke, the latest being 2015's Pylon. He was widely regarded as one of the most original and innovative guitarists of his generation. Number 6. Marty Croft, a legendary TV producer and puppeteer, passed away of kidney failure at the age of 86 on November 25, 2023. He was the co-creator, along with his brother Sid, of many iconic children's shows such as H.R. Puffinstuff, Land of the Lost, The Boogaloos, and Donnie and Marie. He was also the co-founder of Sid and Marty Croft Pictures, a company that produced family entertainment for more than 50 years. He was widely regarded as the King of Saturday Mornings for his innovative and imaginative shows that entertained generations of kids and adults alike. He received several awards and honors for his work, including a Lifetime Achievement Emmy Award in 2018 and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2020. He was loved and respected by his family, friends, colleagues, and fans who celebrated his life and legacy. Number five, Gene Knight was an American R&B and soul singer from New Orleans, Louisiana, who died of natural causes at the age of 80 on November 22nd. She was best known for her 1971 hit single, Mr. Big Stuff, which reached number two on the pop chart and number one on the R&B chart, selling over two million copies and earning a Grammy nomination. She also recorded four award-winning cookbooks and appeared on several TV shows, such as Saturday Kitchen and The Restaurant Man. She was a pioneer and a creative force in the American music scene, influencing many artists and fans with her catchy and soulful songs and her charismatic and lively personality. She is survived by her three daughters, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchild, who have requested privacy at this difficult time. She was loved and respected by her family, friends, colleagues, and fans, who celebrated her life and legacy. Number four. Charlie Munger was a billionaire investor, business partner and friend of Warren Buffett and vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. He passed away of natural causes at the age of 99 on November 28th. He was born on January 1st, 1924 in Omaha, Nebraska and served in the U.S. Army during World War II. He graduated from Harvard Law School in 1948 and moved to California where he practiced real estate law. He met Buffett in 1959 and joined Berkshire Hathaway in 1978. He was known for his sharp and witty comments on investing, business, and life. He influenced and inspired many people with his wisdom and insight. He wrote several books, including Poor Charlie's Almanac, which collected his speeches and essays. He also supported many philanthropic causes, such as education, science, and medicine. He was widely respected and admired by his family, friends, colleagues, and fans who mourned his passing and celebrated his legacy. Number three, Frances Sternhagen was a Tony Award-winning actress who died of natural causes at the age of 93 on November 27th. She was known for her roles in stage, film, and television, such as The Good Doctor, The Heiress, Misery, Cheers, and Sex in the City. She was born in Washington, D.C. on January 13, 1930, and studied theater at Vassar College and other institutions. She made her Broadway debut in 1955 and won two Obie Awards and two Tony Awards for her performances. She also received three Emmy Award nominations for her recurring roles as Esther Clavin and Bunny McDougal. She was widely respected and admired by her family, friends, colleagues, and fans who mourned her passing and celebrated her legacy. She is survived by her brother, three daughters, grandchildren, and great-grandchild. She was a multi-talented and versatile actress who left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Number two, Dean Sullivan was a British actor passed away of a short illness at the age of 68 on November 29th. He was best known for his portrayal of Jimmy Corkhill in the Channel 4 soap Brookside which he played from 1986 to 2003123. He was also a former primary school teacher and a writer. He was born in Liverpool on April 7, 1955, 
and studied at the University of Lancaster. He joined Brookside as a minor character, but soon became a fan favorite and a central figure in many of the show's most memorable storylines, such as drug addiction, marital breakdown, murder, and mental illness. He won the British Soap Award for Outstanding Achievement in 2003, the same year the show ended. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018 and urged people to be vigilant with changes in their body. He was loved and respected by his family, friends, colleagues, and fans who paid tribute to his life and legacy. Number one, Scott Kempner was a guitarist, songwriter, and band leader, passed away of complications from dementia at the age of 69 on November 29th. He started his musical career in 1972 as a founding member of The Dictators, a pioneering punk rock band. He also co-founded The Dell Lords, a roots rock band in 1982, and later joined The Brandos, a folk rock band. He released two solo albums, Tenement Angels in 1992 and Saving Grace in 2008, and collaborated with other artists such as Dion DiMucci and Carla Olson. He was widely respected and admired for his innovative and versatile guitar style, his catchy and soulful songs, and his charismatic and lively personality. He was loved and remembered by his family, friends, colleagues, and fans who paid tribute to his life and legacy. Watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.